Hello again. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how we can combine more than one condition uh, inside the WHERE clause of our uh, 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 query. Now, if you know SQL or SQL, then you know that inside your select something from table or something or from one or more tables and where the w then we w what you can do is you can multiply or can I'm sorry you can specify multiple conditions and you can actually join them with logical and or uh, or yes what we are going to learn here is exactly the same thing how we can have multiple conditions inside the same query now let's have a look at the data, the data set which is file uh, ex012 to turtle file so this is an address book that uh, the author of the book has the author of the book has prepared uh, with the prefixes there and then some individuals there uh, you know um, this if everyone has an id a sort of an id uh, uh, this id here you know it has a property first name value richard property last name value mutt property home telephone pr uh, value this property email value this and then likewise for this and for this, remember the triple, yes? Um, uh, remember the triple that uh, subject, predicate, object. And by the way, something I didn't mention before, uh, I didn't mention before regarding the turtle file, or I believe even, even the M3 format or for the IDF model, is that we can, when things are repeated like this, so notice that this column is actually repeated, there's a way of shortcutting that. And the way is to say, play, remove uh, that dot and have a semicolon and then we remove this this is telling us that the, you know the, the the next line has the same uh, the same subject and then semicolon here until we can remove this and then we say here semicolon semicolon and then remove this and we end it with a dot to tell it that you know this has finished and then we can start another one and we can do the same thing here with the semicolon here here and here and we remove this this and this and likewise for you. I hope that makes sense anyway uh, so I keep that like that and keep this like this so you know as, as, as it actually works now I'm going to run a, I'm just let me say just save this I'm going to run a simple query that is from the book again which is saying uh, select first name last name and email I'll just remove this because I've been playing about this so let me remove this quickly now uh, give me the first name and last name of any person remember notice that I have a variable called person here and this person or this sort of result or object that I have now has a property home telephone with this value it has a property first name save it into first and a property last name and save it into first now these are multiple conditions if I try to uh, remove these for example and run that just this say give me back person uh, who has telephone number this value uh, of course here yeah, I need to say person otherwise uh, it'll be unknown because these are different variable names so it'll bring back empty result set so let me just quick, quickly uh, run this so if you see here it's giving me back of course a URI I'll, we'll speak about this in the next video it's giving back a URI of this person who has this phone number here which is actually this guy over here Richard yes I know it's actually working even these look very different but they actually exactly the same format yeah so what I want to do here is I want to say not only give me that for uh, give me that individual give me his uh, ID or sort of or link to his uh, uh, or a URI I need to specify his fur uh, I'm sorry get back his first name and last name and the way to do this is by having multiple conditions and this is as if I was saying this person has home telephone number this value and he has a first name and please put that first his first name in value first I'm sorry, in variable first and he or she has a last name and please put that value or uh, the value of, his, of, the, of the last name in variable last and then display them over there if you notice now I can execute that and I, I'm sorry I didn't actually save this apparently yes I've not saved it and I can say uh, it actually give me back give, gives me back the first name and the last name okay maybe we can say give me also the email so you can say email here and then copy and paste this and say this person has a property called I'm sorry not last email yes and just save it in a variable called email and save it and then run it again 
and you see I get back the email now even for the sparkle query here we can use the exact format for uh, the turtle uh, file where we use this way of shortcutting or removing redundancy uh, variables inside our triple or collection of, of triples yes we can use exactly the same way here we just say there color uh, sorry semicolon and remove this and then continue semicolon I'm going to explain this in the next video but just to go through it again remove that and remove this and of course it always ends with or it's a good practice to end it with uh, a period or a dot so I'll save that and then run it and I should be able to get back the same result thanks for watching next time we'll go deeper into getting back more readable results and stuff like that bye bye now